Today's soap is gonna have a few more ingredients than normal. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what we'll be putting in here. And then we're gonna go see how it goes. Kaolin clay, a wonderful ingredient to add to any soap. Sugar, helpful for bubbles, and that's what we like. Honey, this is organic honey. Also helpful for bubbles and a lovely thing to have written on your ingredients label because people are suckers for ingredients. I'm included in those suckers. Ground up oatmeal, this is not colloidal oatmeal. I've never used colloidal oatmeal. This is just regular oatmeal that I ground up to a nice consistency. Smells nice. Sodium lactate, because it's useful for unmolding. Some Tessa silk fibers. Looks like cotton. That's getting melted into my lye water. Turmeric. This is gonna be my natural colorant for the soap. Turmeric is not only identified with being a colorant, but it is also commonly paired with being an anti-inflammatory ingested and outwardly. On the top, I'm going to be making some little flower embeds out of these little molds. Fragrance I'm choosing, 50% clove, 50% almond. I don't know if these will be a lovely combination or not. This will be an experimental soap full of experiments. Let's hope it all behaves well. I don't remember these accelerating, but I like adventure. Alrighty then, let's see the result of this combination. Alrighty, in here we've already got our melted hard oils and I'm going to add the soft oils. In this cute little jar, we have our two fragrance oils. I made a combination of almond fragrance oil and clove fragrance oil. Also in here, we've got kale and clay, powdered sugar, oatmeal. And that's it. Okay, let's hope this goes well. Stick blend this. Here we will add our um, lye water, which has some Tesla silk fibers in it, and it also has our sodium lactate in it. Now we begin making soap. That seems good enough to me. I wouldn't be surprised if this accelerated a little bit, because not only do I have sugar in it, but I've got honey, and both of those things can help acceleration. So I better just move right along. Oh yes, look at it, it's already, it's already happening. So let's hope we can get this part done. I wanted to, this is just turmeric. I wanted to just have that as a little bit of color. Goodness, look at that. And it's hot, hot, hot batter. Okay, let's, okay, I'll stir this really quick but I'm gonna pour, like, right now. Oh, man. Wow. Here I am, like, oh, neither one of these fragrances accelerate. Is this all just the honey and such? Could be. Well, I wanted to do a hanger swirl, but I don't know about that. I have my hanger all measured out and everything. This isn't looking very hanger swirly. I'll still try for the heck of it. Oh, that looks like ketchup, doesn't it? Let's try it anyway. All right, I'm gonna try to get the rest of my turmeric soap in there. And then we'll try to get the rest of our plain batter in there. Let's do this on the floor. Wow. This was some wild 
acceleration today. I don't experience acceleration that often, which is nice. I sort of expected it, but at the same time I was kind of thinking it wasn't going to happen because using clove and um, almond fragrance oil before, so it's like ketchup and tartar sauce. Well, I did want to stick an embed in here. Let's see if I can do it. Alrighty, goodness gracious. Good thing I didn't want to do anything more fancy than, mm -hmm. than that quick hanger swirl in more than one color. Alright, see you when it's time to cut this. It's the next day, probably 15 hours later. And Aaron has not been marathoning his game the entire time, he's just playing it again. <laughs> right, Aaron? Yeah, it's been on repeat. Whoa, look at that. Let's cut off our edge here. Whoa. I'm pretty sure this will lighten up, but I don't know positively if it will. But I used a lot of turmeric. I hope it looks prettier than that later. <laughs> it's a very fall smell, so I think I made this either too late or too early. Whoa, this is almost startling looking, isn't it? Whoa. That's a very interesting design for my situation I was in. Looks like a bird swooping down with his beak wide open. Do you see that? This is definitely a very fall soap. So yes, I was too late or I'm too early. I'll say I'm too early. Got an air pocket here. We'll fill that in later. No prob. Well, I like them. I'm happy with them. I really wasn't expecting much more than than what they turned out to be. But they're good. All natural here with some really great ingredients. Very luxury. Turmeric makes it look like pumpkin spice because this smells more like pumpkin. Not like actual pumpkin, but like spice because of that clove and almond. And our final cut here. Whoa. Well, I expected it to lighten up. It has been four days since I made this batch of soap. It's very spicy. Spicy like really powerful pumpkin pie, but it doesn't smell like pumpkin pie. It's just that, that spice that's in homemade pumpkin pie. The clove is powerful. You can still kind of smell the almond a little bit, the sweetness of the almond in there, but that clove. Then we've got our side stamp here. I've got my sides all clean, my corners all cleaned up and looking good. And our little flowers on top. This, without a doubt, would be identified as being a fall fragrance. So I guess I'm starting extremely early. Oddly enough, if we are having a snowstorm today on April 19th, 2021. It's not terribly uncommon for the weather to be really weird here in the Midwest, but it's just really weird today. Oh, unusual weather we're having, ain't it? <laughs> this was a fun-filled, accelerating experience. 
The acceleration just intensifies the adventure of soap making, doesn't it? Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. I'm looking forward to it.